In this video, I'm showing you this Austrian style potato salad served with breaded chicken breast that your baby can also enjoy. And to begin, I just have to show you real quick how I achieved that flat um, slice of uh, chicken breast. I just put my hand on top of the chicken breast and I cut through it and I do it as thin as I can. If you don't get it as thin, you can always use a meat pounder to just pound it and get it a bit flat. And yeah, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And let's go and start cooking. Hi, and welcome to my channel once again. Today we are going to prepare a potato salad recipe for us and our baby. And to begin, this is all the stuff that you will need. It looks like a lot, but it isn't that complicated. It is potato salad with something we call here schnitzel. And the schnitzel, you can either use pork, you can use turkey, or you can use chicken. Today, I'm using chicken breast, and I have sliced it up. Yeah. Okay. And I have sliced it up. And I, if you find that your slices are a bit too thick, you can just use a meat pounder like this one that I have here to pound it down to make it thinner. And yeah, so to begin, we have our potatoes here that I have washed, cooked and sliced up into thin slices. This is how thin they look. And then we have our egg, just one. I have some chives here and then I have red onion. We will need some sunflower oil. And then we need some salt and pepper, which is right there. We will need um, a vinegar here. I always think first in German, we say Essig here. So I was thinking Essig and my daughter was whispering vinegar. So you need some vinegar and then you will need your chicken, some milk. And here I just have some leftover broccoli from yesterday and I will put that in the babies. So you don't need that. You can replace it with the carrot. That means you can cook the carrot with your potato and then after that mix it in with your baby's portion. You will need some flour and I think I mentioned the breadcrumbs already. Okay, so that is all the ingredients we'll need and we are going to start making a potato salad, which we call here kartoffel salad. So to begin, I'm going to just show you how I got the potatoes that I have sliced here. So this is the potato that I cooked and I had the salad kind of potatoes. Those are very starchy. And then for the baby, I have the kind of potato that you use to make mashed potato. So I had just one piece of the mashed potato kind. And all I did was to just, let me put this aside. Um, hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So I just peeled it. After you cook it, you just let it cool a little and then you peel the skin like this. It comes off easily. You just have a small knife and you peel the skin like this. Okay, so after that is done, you slice it into very thin slices. So you hold your potato like this and you go like this. And that is how you get that thin slice of potatoes. Okay. So the, I mentioned that I did use, I did use the kind of potato that you use for mashed potato, right? And it was a big one. I cut it into six pieces and I'm going to save this as it. That one is very easy to peel. So I'm going to save this here for the baby and I'm going to peel it and put it in this bowl. So there. This is like, if you've ever been in Austria, it's like the signature food here. They call it Kartoffel Salat mit Schnitzel. And anybody that comes to Vienna on vacation, 
will definitely have cut off a salad before they leave. So yeah, our babies is also peeled as well. And now we are going to start breading the schnitzel, which is the chicken breast. I'll wash my hands real quick. So you will need a clean tray or plate that you will put your schnitzel on after you've done you are done breading so this is the chicken okay we'll set it aside we have our bread crumbs and then we have our flour we'll first whisk the egg we have our, wet, our egg here and i'm just going to whisk it up i hope you can see what i'm doing my kitchen is really small so i have to make good use of what I have and then we'll add a little bit of milk just add like two tablespoons of milk not too much and then we'll add salt not too much salt and then a little bit of pepper not a lot of pepper because your baby will have some. I will even recommend not putting in any pepper at all, but the pepper can be brushed off the schnitzel when it's done, so it's not a big deal. So I'm going to whisk all this together. Good enough. And then we are going to start breading. So we take a chicken. And before we do that, oh, lest I forget, we have to salt and pepper our chicken. But please do not salt it too much because our baby will have some of it. So just a little bit, flip it over. Flip it, okay, and then salt and pepper the other side as well. Just a dab of the black pepper, not a lot. And like I said, when the schnitzels are done, you can just brush off the pepper before you put uh, your baby's piece in the mixing bowl. So now we take a chicken, we dip it. We dip it in flour, so I have to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. So yeah, we dip it in flour like this. And then we would dip it in egg like that. Okay, don't leave it in the egg too much. You just let it drip completely. And then you dip it the breadcrumbs like that. Okay, so this is how you are going to bread all the chicken breast. And I will come back and show you, I'll do this and show you when I'm done. So now I have finished um, breading all the chicken. This is it. We'll put that aside and start with the potato salad. So for the potato salad, we have here all the potatoes that I showed you earlier on. I'm going to salt it and remember the babies is already taken out okay so you can just salt this to your liking we'll salt it generously because we didn't put any salt when we cook the potato you have to be generous with the salt here if not it is quite flavorless and then we will add the pepper again to your liking Okay, and we are going to add the red onions. Let me get my wooden spoon. We'll add the red onions to it. Just dump it in there. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then 
here right now we are going to whisk our dressing so for the dressing i have one cup of stock and this is optional i prefer this the the stock with it because i like the flavor that i get so one cup of stock and then i'm going to add to that um a little bit of water let's say one fourth cup of water then my vinegar i will take two tablespoons of vinegar so one and two okay and here in austria we do i mean they normally add a bit of sugar to the dressing so i'm going to get my sugar so i had to get my sugar real quick because i just remembered i didn't have it when i was showing you all the ingredients so i'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar and the sugar is to help so it's not too sour like we say here sour so we mix the zap and then you give it a taste oh it's good we don't need we don't need any more salt we don't need any more vinegar now we are going to add our oil and then some table salt so for the salt you put it in we have put in, in some salt in here so you don't have to put too much salt but you add the salt according to your own taste so we stir it in again we give it a taste perfect we get our sunflower oil we are going to put seven six to seven tablespoons of oil so we start counting one i did put six tablespoons you can put seven if you prefer and i'm just thinking real quick what we are missing we are missing a little bit of black pepper in here as well and now we are going to whisk everything together using the stock gives it like a very nice flavor i don't know i prefer it with the stock but here in in austria they normally do it just with plain water so you can do that and it can be chicken stock or beef stock whichever one you prefer it can even be vegetable stock if you're a vegetarian now we are going to dump this in here we dump this in here and an optional tip once again here in austria since we are making an austrian dish they normally add a little bit of senf how do you call senf in german english mustard yeah i just remembered so i mean it's called sorry it's called senf in german and in english it's called mustard so i'm going to just add a little bit and my little bit i mean one teaspoon okay this is it it's a, a mustard paste and i just put it in there like that again this is optional you don't have to do it but we normally put it in ours here now we are going to stir all this together so you stir it in And then you add your chives that you cut up like that. Okay. You stay it in really good. And what this does is that, remember I told you that I used um, some potato salad as well. I mean some mashed potato type of potato as well 
the salad potato those little ones they are very starchy and kind of like <coughs> gooey so they don't dissolve and what the mashed potato kind of potato does it is it breaks apart and it dissolves and this will make this mixture thick a little so we are going to let this sit cover it with a plastic foil you can put it in your fridge and then we will start frying our schnitzel okay so now i have moved you towards my oil you can see it's really hot and i have just a tray that i have lined with the paper a kitchen towel and we are going to start frying the schnitzel so to test if your oil is hot enough all you do is you just put in a toothpick that's how i test it i put in a toothpick i hope you can see me yeah this is my finger and then you put it in and you see that it's bubbling around it that means it's pretty hot enough so now you put the first one in the second and you have to let your oil get very hot meaning you have to see that bubble coming out of your toothpicks if not the schnitzel is going to soak up oil and you don't want that it should be all oily or should i say greasy so we are going to cook this until it turns golden brown okay so the schnitzel is all done this is how it looks like it's golden brown and now we are going to take a baby's portion and then make the baby food so now i have put in this mixing bowl the broccoli that i showed earlier on that i left um, that i had left over from yesterday i have cut up the potatoes that i showed that we are saving for the baby and now i'm going to take the schnitzel and i looked to make sure that i don't pick one with pepper on it and i'm going to just cut a piece like this okay and just break it up like that the schnitzel is nice and crunchy on the outside so the chicken is um, the schnitzel is in and i'm going to add a few tablespoons of liquid and i'm using the stock three tablespoons four tablespoons okay and we are going to give this a mix and when we if we realize that it's too thick we will just add some more liquid to it so here we go okay so i have mixed this and this is the consistency you can feed this between for a baby that is six to eight months old and it is too thick okay so we'll add some more stock to it and i'm going to add two more tablespoons making it six tablespoons in general and we will mix this up yes now i'm happy with the consistency okay jeffrey and then we are just going to put it in here yeah now you can see it looks nice and creamy not too thick and not too liquidy as well so this is a baby food all ready and done and the consistency i just want to show you real quick it's not too thick and it's not too runny so we will show you the end results when this is served on the table so thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye